I hate and love telling people that they got the Congress they voted for. Nobody understands how the sausage is made. Civic groups, concerned citizens, organizations, they kind of have a kind of a schoolhouse rock understanding of, of how the system works. And I run into this constantly. Oh, God. Explain it to like a five-year-old. How would you explain it? I wouldn't. We're going to have to go back to the foundations of the American Congress and try and understand what it is that the Founding Fathers were attempting to accomplish in designing a legislative institution. Everything in American civic life hinges on understanding that. We need to talk about what power Congress is supposed to exercise. Congress is a great thing. The first step in, in government is to make a law. Now, in one sense, this is fairly straightforward. The Constitution tells us legislative power shall be vested in a Congress of the United States. And a law is a general rule made in advance. That means laws are in their nature simple and general and not detailed with a vast array of circumstances in them. Every college has a Congress class, but really what, what it does mostly is just kind of accepts that the status quo is a given. I'm Dr. Kevin Porteous, professor of politics at Hillsdale College, and in this series we'll be talking about the development of the American Congress and how it got to the point that it's at today. Okay, so let's begin. <laughs>